Welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. My name is Chris Meyer, and I'm here with Haley Westrich. Haley, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Good. We're always doing awesome, though, right? I know. I mean, we would never say like we're doing bad. That's true. No, no we wouldn't. So, um, not too long ago, I went to Legends in Concert, the theater, and they had a showcase there. Yeah. And the talent and the singing and songwriting was unbelievable. Uh, but it was actually hosted by uh, our next guest. Uh, they performed actually in the show and did an amazing job. And and so there's a lot of new talent in Branson and original music. Right. And so lots of and so we're going to hear a little bit about that later we in our are. show. So tell people who our guests We've are going to be. Folks from Prince Ivan with us. We've got Aaron and Bryden. So that's going to be a lot of fun to talk to them. Uh, and we actually tried to get them previously, but there was a cancellation due to, I think, a sickness. So it's been, um, we're excited to get them back, um, and they're on a tight schedule, so we'll try and get them in here quickly. Um, last week we did the dumb questions, uh, things that make you go, hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we've got some more of them uh, that we're going to share with you. And here they are. If you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? Oh. And that's... Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, why is the slowest part of the day called rush hour? I've always wondered that. That's a good question. That's, hmm, makes you go, hmm. <laughs> um, if two mind readers are reading each other's minds at the same time, whose mind are they reading? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> um, the only time the word incorrectly isn't spelled incorrectly is when it's spelled incorrectly. Hmm. That's kind of a weird That's, statement. Mm-hmm. You had to think about that one for a moment. <laughs> and if quitters never quit and winners never quit, who came up with quit while you're still ahead? That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is good stuff. Yeah. So it makes you kind of think sometimes. And sometimes you're just like, that's dumb. And we get it. It's okay. We're, we're about just fun entertainment. Um, what else is anything else going on? No, I mean, have you seen any good shows lately? Have I seen any good? Uh -huh. You know, I... Well, I saw that showcase, right? Um, but I haven't got to see as many shows this year as I would like yeah. yet. But season two, I'm, I'm working on it. You know, I wanted to go out to Young Christians Weekend yes. and see that, and uh, um, we just had a family issue emergency in our family, and I missed that. And right. then the next weekend, I missed some stuff, and so I've just just because of things life's going on, it's been a little difficult. So um, we will be back in just a moment with Prince Ivan. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Welcome back to Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. And today, folks, I am with Prince Ivan. Um, and that is Bright, Bright, I'm going to get this wrong, Bright and Brett. Yes. And Aaron Ellsworth. Yes, sir. Yeah. So um, welcome. You know, I know we Thank were going to try and have you guys a while back and someone got sick or something of that sort, but uh, well, glad to have you guys back. Thanks, Chris. We're glad to be here, man. So you guys have been like just rocking it out and we're going to talk a lot about Prince Ivan in just a little bit, but kind of tell people your history, both of your, your history here in the business, uh, because in your case, it's been a really long time. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to start, but Aaron's got a great, really, really cool story. Mine is also very interesting from Dallas, Texas originally, but then in 1999, we moved here to Branson to start our own family show with the Brett family. And so we're actually now in our 20th season of doing shows in Branson. It's really, really crazy to, to think about that. Um, and so my dad was a chiropractor, got injured, and he and mom had always sung together and God just opened a door for us to come to Branson. And so he went from being a chiropractor to coming to Branson, which is a very natural transition. Yes. Not yeah. very many people do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. So, so that's more or less my story. I've been in Branson for a long time, entertaining on stages here, done thousands of shows. And, uh, I love doing this. I love being an artist. I love being a songwriter. I love Branson. Yeah. And so you've been, have you been doing this 20 years? Yeah. 
And so you're you're just a young guy, yeah. and you have 20 years of history under under your belt. Yeah, I just got out of diapers, Chris. Yes, so I'll be back in them before you know awesome. it. I guess. <laughs> so, Aaron, tell us a little bit about about your background and 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 how you've got got into the business. Thank you. I I actually grew up in Washington, in the Washington D.C. area. I lived in both Maryland and Virginia, and uh, got involved with music and choirs at a very young age, about maybe six or seven years old. And uh, throughout the years, just kept on kept on doing music. It wasn't necessarily always my first love. I loved playing sports, football, basketball, uh, but uh, it it just been prevalent in my life through all the years. And when I got into high school, um, when I was 15, we moved out to Arizona, Mesa, Arizona, and uh, nice I, town. Yeah. Oh, I love, love it there. I love Mesa. That's, that's uh, yeah. I love Mesa. It's hot, hot in the summer. It is hot, though. but it's a dry heat. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say, but... It's still 140, <laughs> though. <laughs> yeah, it's still hot. But uh, in February, though, is perfect time of year. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, I, ex- I got a little bit more serious about singing. Um, I made Allstate twice and uh, was an Allstate soloist once. And um, But then I went to college to play football. And wow. uh, where I happened to go to college was where Bride and Brett happened to go to college. The at, Bride and Brett. Yeah, at Southern Virginia University. Uh, so I went out, went back out east, and um, and we just became instant friends. I had no idea what Branson was. Came out to visit his family, saw them perform in their show. I thought, hey, this is cool that a family does this. I still didn't really register that this is like what they did for their for a living. Um, but uh, one thing led to another, and I ended up working for them, and I'm with them a lot of projects, and uh, and then this, we just felt like we were meant to work together, Bryden and yeah. I, and uh, Prince Ivan is the fruit of that inspiration. Wow. So, once again, you didn't ever plan to be in Branson, Missouri. Right, yeah. You didn't even know what Branson was. Right. Um, but through this connection at college, and so if you guys, if, if he likes basketball, I know you like basketball. Oh, yeah. That's, so, why, that's why I was at college. I was playing basketball, and he was playing football. And then we started, we got an acapella group together. And within 30 seconds, we just knew this was... <laughs> Magic. We we did a chest ma- bumps and a match, everything. A man. match made in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we knew we were supposed to do something together. It was one of those instant things where you know, like, wow, there's something supposed to happen here. So it's cool. Yeah. That is that is great. And so you you've been kind of working on the lighting aspect with their show for what'd you say, like seven years? Yeah, seven years now. I think I moved here in eleven, two thousand eleven. And uh that honestly has been an amazing training ground for me to learn how learn how the the backstage how, how things work from a technical standpoint it's allowed us as a production group and a songwriting group and, and a performing performance group just to be kind of uh all things in one package you know we we can um just from being a singing and, and all that aside we we what we can offer as a as a as a partnership is basically well most all of your production needs like We've, we've talked about doing that before, yeah. uh, you know, like yeah, this singing thing doesn't work out. We just right. Do we go into, company. you know, production company yeah. or consulting, but, uh, cause we, you know, we could do almost all of it. Yeah. And um, not a lot of bands can say they can do all of it. So to say they'll have somebody else do the rest of it, but you guys can really craft everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's, I will say though, you know, right now when we're probably going to get into this, but, uh, what's so cool about us, I feel is that what we've, we kind of we kind of did things backwards. We we uh, we did three years. We've done three years here in Branson. Um, so our music first premiered on stage, rather than on on the record. Yeah. So before we talk too much more about Prince Ivan, let's let's talk about the name itself, Prince Ivan, and tell people like where that came from. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting. So I think there are a million great musicians in the world, and so. We got into music because we love music, but also because we have what we feel is a mission, you know, kind of assignment. We're trying to create music that is fresh and top 40 worthy, sounds like it belongs in that genre, in that format, 
but doesn't have a lot of the themes that are typically associated with the genre, drugs, sex, all that kind of stuff. And so that was, that was our mission from the beginning. And Aaron actually had the idea, let's name ourselves after my nephew, Ivan. At the time, he was really young. And Prince just sounded cool. So we put, put it together, Prince Ivan. And um, it's kind of a constant reminder that we're, of who we're doing this for. We're trying to leave this world a little better for the next yeah. generation. You know what I'm saying? Trying to create music that uh, we wouldn't be ashamed to show him, but that's still cool and edgy for that 13 to 30-year-old market. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, well, I, I'm a lot older than 30. <laughs> uh, and I like your music and it's, it's, it's good. Um, and, um, I think that's a neat name and I, and I really, I really appreciate the, the mission, so to say behind the music, uh, that what you're trying to do. And, uh, so from myself personally, thank you for being concerned about stuff like that. You know, I think any, anybody can, anybody can cuss, anybody can talk about stuff, but it's actually harder in some cases not to do that stuff and still pull it off. Yeah, you had to dig a lot deeper to find that lyric that's actually going to still have the same impact. Right. And not, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It is It is more difficult, but it's worth it because it's 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 a higher craft, I think. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It's worth it. Um, folks, we'll be back in just a minute with more from Prince Ivan. And we're going to talk a lot about what they're working on now and and just lots of cool stuff. So we'll be back in just a second. Welcome back to Play Branson. We are here with Prince Ivan. And so guys, like you've been doing Prince Ivan for what, three years now? Yeah, yeah. A little, I mean, as far as like professional launch, yeah, three years. Yeah. And so you already have an album out and you've been performing in Branson and now you're kind of working on some new and different stuff. So tell people kind of what's going on with Prince Ivan. Yeah. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, we, uh, we're pretty maverick. You know, pretty rebellious when it comes down to it. We're from Branson, you know, a bunch of rebels in Branson. <laughs> and um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, stick it to the man, you know, like uh, real independent spirits, you know. And so this whole time we thought, you know, we really want to build this independently, which I think makes a lot of sense in music. You can do that now. Um, but recently we've realized, uh, we felt really inspired that, uh, I mean, take it biblically, Joseph of Egypt, he didn't build Egypt. Right. You know, he kind of kind of kind of got positioned within Egypt, you know, and he had a lot of influence. And so we look at the system and we say, man, you know, that's a big, bad system. But we realize that we need to get in there and, you know, make a difference. You, you can't you, you talk about changing something. You can't change something that doesn't already exist. And so we are we've got an artist development deal right now that has opened up to us where within four to six months, hopefully we'll be in a record deal situation. So we're, we're going in, you know, we're going in the system and uh, and trying to see if Prince Ivan has what it takes. We think we do. Um, and our uh, producer and the consultant we're working with really believe in what we're doing. And there's some pretty cool people on board. So that's what we're working on right now is trying to write new music, trying to create a sound that we can take to the masses, trying to work on our image, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying yeah. to get that facial hair like Chris, yeah. you know, yeah. a little gray right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aaron's succeeding. Yeah. Um, so um, what, what did you, I guess, what did you learn from the first album that you guys did? Because I personally think you had a little, a lot of hits on that first album. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. I think uh, there were some there were definitely some lessons that we took away and uh, still kind of kick ourselves about. I think one, probably the overarching lesson was that it, uh, you can't really rush it. And mm. we we had set ourselves a deadline 
Um, You're very goal oriented, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we promised people we'd have the, the album yeah. before we even started recording it. Well, what, what basically, <laughs> what basically what happened was is at that year, um, and this is in no way an excuse for any, I mean, we're still very proud of it. We're still yeah. very proud of, of our EP, but there are, there are things that we did parts of the process that we felt were rushed and we just had to make decisions before feeling like it was finalized. Um, but uh, what had happened was, is we we told people we were gonna have an album release party, which was like our VIP show that year, and it went amazingly. It was a great show, great event, and uh, that day just kept coming closer and closer. And I think there were a few like all nighters. Uh, yeah, Oreos and Cheez Its got us through. Yeah, I, I think I may have been at that, but it was like it was like one of the first shows I think I'd been in Branson where people actually stood up. Yeah. You know, I mean, most yeah. people don't stand up on a Branson show, and there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes yeah. people want to relax. But yeah. like your concert was much more, and I, I don't know if edgy is the right word, but it was just more of like a concert. Like yeah. you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so I I've seen you guys perform several times, and and I just I loved it. Now there we're missing a third person, and so there's been a change in the band structure makeup, right? Yeah, right. You know, that's this is what happens with bands. You know, it we, does. we 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 kind of started. You know, Aaron and I said let's do something together, and then my brother Garen came into the project, and there was instant musical chemistry, spiritual chemistry, everything, and we had this sound like it just gelled. And so Garen started uh, this whole thing with us. He's part of the brotherhood, uh, but recently we've decided together that. Um, he would like to explore some other avenues, some other things that he can do. And he's a massive talent, like, and his music is incredible. And so he's still part of the, he's just changed his function within the group. He's still part of Prince Ivan in effect, uh, but he's just more focused on songwriting production with us. And so Aaron and I are taking it forward, uh, carrying the Prince Ivan torch and uh, still helping Garen with his solo work. So it's pretty exciting that, you know, we'll be able to actually probably expand our impact by, you know, I guess the separation in a way, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, cause he'll, he's got the same mission as we do and he'll just take it with his solo projects and we'll still work together so you know the avengers are still the avengers you know <laughs> yeah. so so you guys are going to do is it one date this year in branson and do you know when that is yeah that's on june 8th uh and it's at the mickey gilly grand shanghai theater okay uh, i believe it's at eight o'clock right yeah june 8th which is right around the corner uh that'll be in a couple of weeks from now of when this episode originally airs uh, and so we want to encourage people to go to that show because this is the only time they're going to be able to s probably see you in Branson this year, unless something else maybe comes yeah. up, but on the books anyway, yeah. right now. And we'll be, de we'll be debuting some new material as well. So people can look forward to that. Yeah. And it's the whole thing, right? The whole shebango, the seven piece band, high energy, way fun. The guys rock. And so it's, it's just in case people don't know what the show is all about. Like it is like a real concert, the whole thing. It's really cool. It's really fun. So. Um, last month, I saw you guys at Legends in Concert at the, the showcase that was the fundraiser for the Branson Hollister Senior Center. But, you know, there was like 10 singer-songwriters, and then there was some local bands that weren't part of the competition. And you guys pulled out the song you had written in a like a the day previously or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that, that, that and I'm sitting there going... <laughs> It was amazing. Like, like, <laughs> I'm I, glad you I, think I, so. I, and I'm not just, and I'm not just saying that either. It was a great song, and it was, uh, you were playing the keys, and you were playing the little box, whatever you call it, the cajon. And uh, well, tell tell people what the name of that song was. You the best. You the best. And it was to you the, the ladies. <laughs> yeah, it was to the ladies. You know, oh, you can't man. go wrong most of the time. It was to so, sing a song to the ladies. It was so good. So I I love that song. In I mean, just the fact that you performed it that quick after you wrote it, and I mean, it was smooth. Um, Thank you. So that just, to me, shows kind of the talent that you guys are. And so I want, I want people to see the new talent of Branson, and you guys are definitely some of the new talent. I think you got huge success ahead of you. Just keep on keeping on, as they would say. Um, where can people find you guys on Facebook, online, all that kind of stuff? Tell people where they can find you. Well, please check out our website, uh, princeivan.com. Um, our YouTube channel is Prince Ivan Official. If you search Prince Ivan, it, we're pretty much always the first thing that pops up. Um, our Facebook page is Prince Ivan Music. Music. And uh, and then, but uh, probably what we're on the most is Instagram. That's Prince Ivan official. You can. Yeah, that's where Chris he creeps us out all the time on that's Instagram. Right, that's right. That's right. He does. He's like he's like <laughs> posting like those little hearts and everything. It's crazy. Yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, believe that. <laughs> yeah. Um, although I do have an Instagram account. Actually, Play Branson has an Instagram account and Twitter and Facebook. We're everywhere too. As Play Silky Branson. Segue. Yeah. yeah. So, um, guys, it's been great talking to you. I know you guys have got to rush out of here and you got to go to your new vocal coach uh and so time is of the essence for you so thanks so much for coming today i wish you guys all great success and um uh, folks be sure to go see them june 8th june 8th at the mickey gilly grand shanghai theater and if you want to have fun go there also if you're planning your entire branson vacation go to ibranson.com or call 877 entertain this has been another entertainer interview here on play branson the Best Western Center Point Inn. It's Branson's top hotel in the heart of Branson's entertainment, next to the Titanic Museum. Relax in the indoor pool and hot tub. The hotel offers a variety of room types. Enjoy the free hot breakfast every day. For more information or to make reservations, call 1-877-334-1894. Hey, welcome to another off-site location for Play Branson. Folks, we're out here on the busy West Highway 76, and we are right in front of Andy's Frozen Custard. And if you've never had Andy's Frozen Custard, let me tell you, it's one of those places that if you go once, you're going to just want to go again because it is so good. Their custard is amazing. Um, Andy started just up the road at Springfield, Missouri. There's several throughout the Midwest, uh, but definitely a great treat to have on vacation. They've got everything from like concretes, where you mix the custard uh, with a variety of toppings, whether that's Heath Bar, whether those are M&Ms. They've got a whole bunch of those. They've got milkshakes, they've got uh, floats. Um, they've got all sorts of different types of desserts here. And you know, vacations are about splurging and having fun. And so come check out Andy's. Just remember vacation on vacations, calories don't count. And so just come enjoy yourself. Andy's Frozen Custard is located right past Pizza World or uh, past the Ferris Wheel um, and right next to the Hughes Brothers Theater. So you can't really miss it out here on West Highway 76 here in Branson, Missouri. Welcome back to Play Branson. And if you haven't been to Andy's Frozen Custard, let me tell you, folks, it is some good stuff. Once again, I always say calories don't count on vacation. <laughs> That's true. And so they need to go to Andy's Frozen Custard. Yeah. Check that What's out. What's your favorite thing to get there? Um, I normally just get a concrete with a uh, Heath bar and just okay. the vanilla. Yeah. And oh, it's so Sounds good. Sounds good. It is so good. <laughs> and they have tons of different concoctions. Yeah, lots of different options. So um, school is just about out yes and so I mean, it's, it's a great time to come to branson so people are probably thinking i mean if they haven't started thinking they should what should i do on summer vacation right and branson is the perfect place to bring your family on vacation there's so much to do here and guess what it's going to be about half the cost of disney <laughs> um and so if you enjoy the outdoors you can do that here uh we got the lakes you can parasail uh wakeboard uh, paddleboard, all of that kind of stuff. You can do all sorts of things here and uh, theme parks with the new time traveler yeah. ride. Uh, so, and sh of course shows. Right. So lots, lots there to do. So Memorial Day is also That's coming, coming up. coming up too. There's going to be a big event out at Shepherd of the Hills, the summer kickoff. So they're going to have guests like Chris Jansen, Ray Lynn. So it's going to be a big deal. And so it's a sanctioned like Kansas City barbecue event. Yeah. And so that is a new event for them. Mm -hmm. uh, new owners have got it. And so they're doing right. some new things. They're going to have fireworks out there, carnival games, the whole bit. So folks, be sure to check that out on Memorial Day weekend out at Shepherd of the Hills. And... Um, I mean, thanks for watching. If you have an entertainer you'd like to see and haven't seen on our show, go to our Facebook page, message us, let us know. Uh, we love your feedback. Uh, be sure to share this with other folks and like us. And if you haven't planned your vacation yet, be sure to go to ibranson.com or call 1-877-BRANSON. This has been another Play Branson. Until next week, have a good one. Try something different this vacation. Bring the whole family to Branson Segway. 
Segways are the most fun on two wheels since the bicycle. It's safe and fun. Ride at your own pace on our specially designed track. You can oh, do it. I don't know if I can do this, guys. On, I don't know. On, to get your family from ho-hum to adventure, ride a Segway. Branson Segway and Adventure Center on Highway 165, just one block south of Titanic. Come on, slow folks. Ride like the wind.